afraid of, I have a cold, I'm afraid of my mom. And so that wouldn't sound too pleasant. Um, I'm Terry Hoy. My original hometown is Lisbon, born and raised there. Uh, I don't know if you ever knew Leah and Maxine McHenry, they had a grocery store, that was my parents. So uh, now I live in Clarence. I'm a member of the Clarence Methodist Church. And I belong to Lisbon, Mount Vernon, Tipton, and finally Clarence. And at Clarence Church is when I found my call that this is what I wanted to do. Hard to believe, but when I was in school, I was that shy, quiet little girl that was at the back of the room that nobody really knew I was there. And all of that has changed, especially since I discovered that Christ is my Savior. And I just started lay ministry school, just the first weekend in October. So I am really excited about spreading the news of Jesus Christ. Do we have any announcements today? There is um, a letter back here, and also um, Crystal gave me one that Hope for Liberia, uh, we're all invited to a celebration dinner, and it's joined us Saturday, November 7th from 5.30 to 8 for that banquet at the Markel Christian Church. And uh, dinner is complimentary. You're to be, uh, we'll be invited uh, to uh, partner with Hope um, financially and prayerfully. Seating is limited. Um, they would like to text your name and number of guests to reserve the spot. And there, thank goodness, is a telephone number also. And, um, uh, they, they'd like to invite us, and that's from Lynn and Karen Weaver. So November 7th at the Martell Christian Church from 5.30 to 8.00 is the banquet for folks in Liberia. My uh, sister-in-law, <coughs> the other Terry Boy, wanted to me to announce that apparently she's in charge of, or one of the people in charge of the food pantry down there, that Morley Church helps donate stuffing mix. So I'm passing that word on. And also, uh, the Lions Group in Mechanicsville is having a wonderful soup luncheon today from 11 to either 1 or 1.30 with uh, cheesy potato and chili and chicken noodle soup. If you like potato soup, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law make the best potato soup ever. I'm just saying really good. But you're not prejudiced, are you? No, not I at all. Tell. <laughs> and I draw up in November, December, October. Does anybody else have any other announcements? Did you guys cover the weather yet? No. no. We had about four inches of rain plus a little extra drizzle during the week. Four tenths. <laughs> I was trying to get some excitement in here, okay? I understand you are the excitement in the church. <laughs> That's only because I wore a tie today, okay? <laughs> I knew that would happen. Mine's in February. <laughs> I will be here in February, I don't think. So okay. Happy birthday in February. <laughs> Thank you. Donnie's birthday is Thursday. Okay. Donnie, Dick, and Crystal so far. <laughs> so it, are you guys like me that you reach that certain age where you start subtracting? <laughs> yeah, I, I start subtracting. I figure I'm down to 40 now. <laughs> when did you start? Crystal, Dick, and Don. Happy birthday to you.
celebration. Be welcome. With all the heavenly hosts, we worship and praise the Holy One, who has done great things. Amen. Please join me in the opening prayer. God of angel armies and of little lambs, help us to remember that both strong and weak have a place in your kingdom, and that you are with us in high and low places. Amen. Please turn the page. 
church. I'm going to have to suggest that to our pastor. It's so fun to hear the laughter, you know, the greetings. Everybody's happy. You know, it's, that's what church is about. You didn't hear all the jokes that are pastor. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me later. Okay. I'm with that. Um, I understand Barb usually does a children's message, and we don't have children here, so I've been given permission to give you the message, and it's going to be a little strange because I plan for children here. So, uh, did anyone want to share with me what event happens this next week? Halloween. Halloween. You know, as a, as a young girl, um, I can remember the excitement of, you know, getting your costume and getting all excited. And I was one of these Halloween people. I don't like scary stuff. I'm with Casper the Friendly Ghost, you know, the Good Witch. I mean, maybe a little kind of scary witch. But I wasn't, I don't like these scary things. I just don't. That's not what Halloween is about to me. But of course, the best part is the treats when you go to the house. And when I was a young girl, everyone said, my parents say, make sure you say trick or treat. Don't just walk up there with that sack or basket or whatever we had. Make sure you say that. And you know, I lived in Lisbon, small town, small community. We didn't have to worry too much about scary things in our treats. So we went to everybody's house that we could possibly go to. And one of my favorite treats, and this is where the kids were gonna come in. Hang on, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tootsie rolls. <laughs> So, I brought Tootsie Rolls for the kids. Certainly, if you want a Tootsie Roll, you can have one. But um, those are my favorite things. And you can remember when you, I, I can remember when we get home that we'd store all of our candy. We'd, we'd sort the stuff that was really good, the really healthy things like apples and Rice Krispie bars. You know, and the homemade, we used to get homemade cookies. I can remember how wonderful they were. I remember this lady, um, uh, her name was um, Stella. Um, I can't think of her last name, it's not terrible. Uh, we would go to, she lived up on the hill, down from the school, and she used to babysit us. My parents had a grocery store, so she would come and babysit us. And we'd always go to her house because she had the best homemade cookies, the best. Well, now you can't get those, I don't think, anymore from trick-or-treating because people are afraid of what's in them. Isn't that scary? In this society today, that we have to be frightened for our children. For treats. So my message to children would be please be careful. Make sure that you wear light colored clothes. Um, I think it's it's a good thing that they have not changed daylight savings time yet, so they have a little bit of light when they go trick-or-treating now. So um, and as children come to your door, if you allow them to, it's my understanding now porch lights have to be on, and if they're not on, you don't stop at that house. But if you allow that, you know, don't be afraid to say, God bless you. You know, I think sometimes we forget to do that because we're so afraid they're going to be offended or the parents are going to be offended. But you know what? I don't care. God bless you. And so kind of keep that in mind. And by the way, nobody comes to my house trick or treat. We've lived there from 01, and we're at the end of the street. So I always have all these treats. Nobody comes to my house. You have electricity on that end of town? <laughs> yeah, we're right by Casey's, as a matter of fact. So they bypass my place and go to Casey's now. So, um, so anyway, I'm disappointed because I can hardly wait till my kids are grown, where I can pass out treats, and now they don't come to my door. So it could be worse. When I came to this country, we didn't have Halloween in Germany, so they decided as far as we're going trick or treating, you have to wear a costume. 